Hello everyone, I am Honeywell and this is part 7 of our Planet Base series. When we last left off, we were doing something. I don't even remember. <laughs> uh, now I remember, our power grid over here took another meteor hit. And we got our factory up and running. We have sick people with broken bones stacking up in our sick bay. And what? But our power issues seem to be resolved. And those are all good things. Uh, we also started to put in our our next power collector um, which was a good thing because we were starting to get power low messages again already and the only thing we added was our factory uh, so let's let everybody carry on with what they were doing oh wait no they can't let's recycle this so they can start keep working on the semiconductors um, we have two spares Let's recycle this as well, so they can keep working on the spares, except I have a spare limit of two, so they're not going to. So let's go to the manufacturing limits, and we'll up that to three, just so they'll keep working on those. I'd rather have our engineers producing something. We also... Our food seems to be doing okay, but I would like some more biologists and some more workers. Yes, uh, some more workers because all of our broken bones and some more biologists because we are going to go ahead and Well, take your time getting out there because it's the middle of the night. It does not matter. Um, yeah, we want to go ahead and get working on some medical supplies. So that is going to be our goal. We're going to go ahead and recycle that tomato when it produces. And we're going to get our lab that we wanted in the last couple episodes. We're going to get that put in. Okay, one giant lab, yeah, one giant lab, uh, well I guess we're going to let this grow one more time, actually we'll recycle this one. Pasta, pasta, pasta. Basic. We're going to recycle this uh, meal maker. Okay, and we need the medicinal pad. Oh no, solar flare. Stop, stop, close. Off. Get in there. Hurry up. Are you in? You're in. You're in the mine. You're going to die. Benito. Benito, who are you? <laughs> I don't even know who you are, Benito. When did we get a Benito in? I must have not been paying attention. Hurry up. You idiot. You deserve to die. Did you get in? Go ahead and uh, get in bed and roll the dice. You got a 50-50 chance of living because we, uh, we have no medical supplies for you. You should have uh, researched your colonies thoroughly before choosing one. You, uh, you made a poor decision, my friend. Um, and is Bianca, 
I don't remember Bianca either. We'll see if she's going to stay working or if uh, she is going to fill up her last medical bed. And she's going to fill up her last medical bed. Well, she's actually going to have to stay out there and die because these people are bound and determined to go outside, which is not going to happen. So, uh, yeah. Maybe she... Maybe she went back in soon enough to uh, avoid being irradiated. We will see. The suspense. It's killing me. How are you doing, Benito? Is this over yet? I don't know. It still looks, these corridors still look a little bright. They said that you could tell when the uh, music was over, but I don't know that I trust that. <laughs> I think it look, this sounds properly over now, right? Okay. Let's, let's open it back up. If we can have somebody besides Benito out there to uh, fix the lab. We're nowhere near getting a an herb. And I guess I want to... I guess I want to fiddle around with this, right? I would like some workers. I would also like another biologist. Three engineers. Three engineers are going to be okay. Uh, we're going... I'd like another medic. Which means I won't get a worker. Okay, a worker, a biologist, oh yeah, a worker, a biologist, and a medic. I, uh, I don't know that um, the percentages really worked out last time, because the last time I put in an order, I thought I would get a, what, I was expecting a worker, but we got the engineer instead, even though it had like a lesser percentage, so I don't think I quite uh, understood understood that. So we're just going to go back to, uh, to doing it the way I've always done it. I know that this is a higher percentage, so I'll get a worker, I'll get a biologist, I'll get a medic. Uh, who comes first, or how many ships it's going to take to get those things, I don't know. Okay. And let's... How many biologists do I have? I have three. Let's just start out with two, two, uh, tissue synthesizers and see how we do. I also want that medical bed or medical workbench up. Because now we're going to start to have a real problem with plastic. How are you doing? You're still hanging in there? 50-50 chance. Um, and let's turn this on. Nope, you died. I am so sorry. I And I'm even sorrier because I have no idea even when you got here or who you are. <laughs> so, yeah. Goodbye. And we have our three... We have our three semiconductors, so I'm going to recycle this. And I want them to be able to work on spares, so I'll recycle that. And we... I don't even know what next. We're getting close to having a a medicinal herb to uh, clear out some of these people in our sick bay here. Oh, and we're not spending our water, our plastic. And I knew that was going to happen. And we are prepared for you. The water cycles up and down. Um, 
so it would go through a short period of time where there wasn't enough water, but then it would rise back up again. Um, I think someone on the planet-based forums actually uh, uh, worked it out, timed it, found the percentages. Um, but where I usually care about these sorts of things, honestly, I don't care about this. I just build uh, water collectors as I need them, and I that's all I need to know. Um, but they did actually uh, time it all and figure out the the rates at which they uh, rise and fall the water tables. So if anyone is interested in that, make sure you go check out the uh, the main planet-based forums and and be amazed at that person's uh, exacting accounting of uh, the power and water. I can appreciate that sort of thing. Okay. What next? We put in an order for colonists. Do we want to get trade ships too? I thought I had three semiconductors, but I don't. I have two. Engineers, I need you. Come build that again. I want my robotics facility. And do I want it next? I think that I do. I really do. I like robots. And there's... Here's the thing. I found with this, there's never really a, a good time to uh, start on this. I can always put it off because something is always more important. But the sooner you start, the better off you are. Um, carry robots, even though that's all I can make right now, uh, they're great. They keep everybody else doing what they're supposed to be doing. Um, it's not a bad thing. And then after... We're going to put this on priority, and then we're going to get a, a storage. So I don't have to keep recycling machines. And we will slot... Oh, kidding me. This is why I wish there was a... You could pause buildings, because I've already had this figured out. And know that I will sit here all day getting till I get this to match up right. Maybe that will do it. <sighs> so frustrating. Does anyone else build like this? Does anyone else care that much? I think this might be a. Uh, I think other players might not care. <laughs> Obviously the designers didn't care. Will that do it? It's beautiful. Just beautiful. Okay, and... What connection do we want? I don't even know. Well, not down this way. It's between this one or this one. You know what? We're going to... We're going to keep this kind of connected up to the main. And let's see who we got. A medic and biologist. That's good. I like that. Good job. Um, and maybe we'll put in another... Another meat whatever okay so uh, more burgers are coming up we are going to eventually have some storage 
And look at that. That is beautiful. We have a plastic problem. Psych. No more storage. <laughs> Uh, well, we have as soon as this produces, we'll recycle this and put some wheat in and hope that that chicken over there is enough to uh, make up the difference. So I uh, rushed the gun on this factory here because we didn't have the plastic for it, because I still need uh, some other components. That's unfortunate. But we still have nine meals. Nine meals is not bad. Um, who are we asking for now? Yeah, we just want workers now. And if I were a worker, I would not come to this colony, seeing as how... <laughs> Seeing how abused they are. But you never know. That's nice. Slow this down. Hello, workers. Hello, two workers. Two? Cody? Hi, Cody. And somebody else? Cody? Cody and Oliver. And Oliver's going right to the mine. I hope you fare better than Laurel did. <laughs> okay, so uh, I think we're done for colonists for a while. We're almost at our uh, our oxygen cap, and we're probably uh, stretching it a bit, expecting to feed 17 colonists on a couple uh, a couple plants and some uh, meat vets over there. Okay, we have enough spares. Let's, we have two. Hello, bot auto repair. That will be very nice. I'll be happy to see that. CR1 has probably a little bit of life left in him. How are you doing? Yeah, you're still, they call that excellent, but that looks like the end is near to me. We have lots of power, although I would like a another power collector, and then we would do another solar panel. We don't really have plastic for, did I? Okay, it's almost, we're going to recycle this in just a second. Okay, let's put back in some more wheat. And the meat, yeah, the meat and the wheat will make burgers, so we're still trying to, uh, to keep our colonists uh, healthy and happy. Lots of pasta, lots of burgers, some basic, but that's fine. Just as long as the majority of what they eat is, uh, is one of the recipes. They'll be perfectly healthy and more importantly, they'll be happy. And our bot auto repair is up before we even have a storage room. Priorities, I tell you. And let's lower the let's lower the semiconductors to Actually, we're going to lower it to one. And as soon as they make that, then we'll put in a bot workshop so they can start making carrier bots for us. That is fine. Oh, that's not fine. Okay, storage is next. If our spares decay, that would be pretty uh, tragic.
so, so annoying. Yay. Okay. And I think we decided that the connection we were going to keep is this one. Okay, I think this is probably a good place to end the episode. We made a lot of progress. We still have nine meals. We're up to 17 colonists. Uh, we're so close to producing our own robots, which will be nice. Um, plastic is our big concern right now. We're addressing our uh, medical supply problem. And uh, we're experiencing some, some growing pains, but overall, I think we're in a pretty good position. Okay, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate the likes and comments. Uh, I really and truly do. And I hope you will come back for episode 8.